The Tote Hotel is one of Melbourne's most notable music venues. Does its reputation precede it, or is it really that good? Matthew Andreadza takes a look at our second venue on the menu. The Tote Hotel has been a cornerstone of live music in Melbourne since it opened in 1980. Tucked away on Collingwood's Johnston Street, it's a short drive or tram ride away from the Melbourne CBD. It's most often associated with Australian rock, but for the most part, the Totes hosted a wide variety of music from the very beginning. But what's going on at the Tote now? Any, dare I say, alternative independent type of band really gets a go. The Tote also has a long history, and it almost closed in 2010 following changes to Victorian liquor licensing laws. I think, you know, reliant, trading on your history and all that kind of nonsense is um, sort of counterproductive. The venue's really only as good as what it's got coming up this week and next week, and perhaps the week after. It's an old building, and it was on the brink of death once, but the Tote Hotel is absolutely full of life. Gigs. So many gigs. And thank goodness there are so many gigs, or there wouldn't be much of a reason to go to the Tote Hotel at all. It's still just like basically a, you know, a stripped back, high functioning dive bar. There isn't a lot of room, and there aren't a lot of seats indoors. There's an outdoor area with more seats, but it isn't fully sheltered from bad weather or the sun. The drink selection is enough to cover all bases, but there isn't much variety beyond that. To its credit, there is a pool table, and the newly opened kitchen has a great selection of pub grub with a few unique twists. And despite the venue's small size, the tote manages to have three performance spaces, not all of which are created equal. The band room is a decent enough space with a good stage and a dedicated sound technician to run sound tests. The upstairs stage has an awkward layout and makes large audiences impractical, and the musicians themselves need to work all the technical stuff out. Expect technical difficulties. The front bar is used as the third space. The corner doors are closed and bands set up in front of them, meaning these gigs are always free. Despite its shortcomings, the Tote is the kind of venue that fully supports the Melbourne music scene because of its commitment to live music. A lot of venues are really keen on sort of cover bands um, back home, whereas we really wanted to push our original stuff, which is why Melbourne was on the cards. An attractive scene for the Beggar's Way, a punk rocker foursome from across the pond who felt stifled by the attitude of venues in New Zealand. Moving over here was a great decision and we've really kind of gotten quite lost in the whole music scene over here. The Tote Hotel may be a dive bar, but it's one that plays host to a hell of a lot of live music. Whether or not the trade-off is worth it is up to you. Matthew Andriaza, Mojo TV.